This video is part of the financial series has been organized to explain how to read a credit memo. Credit memos are issued any time your chapter receives a refund. The header contains the Heritage Center's contact information, the corporate logo, and information pertaining to your memo. It will list if the memo is more than one page, followed by the credit memo number and the date it was written. All this information will be helpful when you're reviewing your statements to compare the information. In the middle of the memo will be the billing information. Always check to make sure you were sent the right memo and your address and information is correct. The address will always follow the same format. Chapter name, address and area, university, and city, state, and zip code. If for any reason your information is not correct or you were sent the wrong chapter's memo, please contact the Heritage Center. The content of the memo will vary slightly by what your chapter is being credited for, but the setup will always be the same. The description will summarize your credit. Next to that is UOM, which stands for Unit of Measure. So in the example, each student member dues is the unit price of $47.50. The quantity will indicate how many you're being credited for, and the extended price will factor in the discount and quantities. The total credit amount is listed below. Below this information, it will almost always have a note clarifying what the memo is for in more detail. In the example on the screen, the memo is for the student member dues of a brother who was removed from the roster. A reminder, credits are not money the chapter owes, but refunds which will be applied to your statement, reducing what you owe. For additional information, please visit the website, contact your chapter educational resource coordinator at the Heritage Center. For assistance in determining the coordinator for your region, please visit www.aksi.org backslash staff. Thank you for listening to this program. If you have suggestions for future webinar or e-learning topics, ways to improve this program, please email these to education at